What's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Low Res DIY. So, in our last video, we uh, threw MB up there, which I'd never checked it out or anything like that. And I still got a couple comments about uh, wanting me to throw up a video on how to install Plex. So, that's what we're going to do in this video. Roll that beautiful bean footage. All right, once you get logged into your TrueNAS scale, server we're going to click on apps we're going to scroll on over to available applications and we're going to click on the install button for plex let's go ahead and give it a name of uh, plex we're going to hit next all right the first option here is to use a plex pass so if you have already got a plex server somewhere else remote location different different place or something like that and you just want to use this to access it you know, as just an app, you can use your Plex, pla Plex Pass. And if you click on this little question mark here, it says uh, HTTP www.plex.tv.claim. Copy that, open another tab, paste it in there. It it'll ask you to sign in, which I'm not signed in right now. Otherwise, it would give you a code right here. You would just copy that code go back and right here plex claim token you would right click, click and you would paste it in there now this is going to be for a, a, a full new setup so we're not going to do that but that option's there if you all if, if that's what you want to do so after you go through everything you just click next all the way through and when you bring it up it should already be logged in for you and have you'll have access to your movies and everything but this we're going to set this up as a true nas server so we're going to avoid that and we'll click next and this is a spot that i think a lot of people might get confused on it and everything because they'll just they'll, they'll want to create a plex server and they'll click next 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 all the way through then they'll try to log in they'll find out it's just the app and big important point right here. So you need to make sure that you check that guy right there, configure host network. So let's go ahead and click him. We're gonna hit next. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the storage that you have your media in. Myself, it's under mount bulk media. So we'll click on that guy again, we'll copy slow forward slash media and we will paste this in we're going to click next and we're just going to go ahead and click next on the rest of them now if you have a uh, gpu discrete gpu that you want to use for transcoding you would click on the little arrow here and you would have the option to choose that i don't on this guy it's a headless machine there's no gpu in it so i don't have that option but if you do have at it Click next, advanced DNS. We're just going to click next and resource limit next and save it. And it's going to start installing the application for you. So again, I'm freaking impatient. So web, we'll check out our net data. We see, all right, it's starting to do a little bit of downloading and sit back, relax and wait for it to download and install. All right, once it gets done installing, we are going to click on the web portal. And this is what it's going to bring up. So, all right, how, to, how Plex works. Go ahead and read it. We're going to click on got it. They're going to want you to buy a Plex Pass if you want to. If you're wanting to do transcoding, you're going to have to have a Plex Pass, be it a monthly subscription, a yearly, or a lifetime subscription, whatever. If you're not worried about using a GPU as a tra for transcoding, it's no big deal. Let's just click on the X, and it's gonna you're going to give your TrueNAS, uh, well, it says TrueNAS right now, but give your Plex server a name. I'm just going to call it Plex2. And then I want to allow me to access my media outside my home. So it's going to try to set it up to where you can access this from anywhere in the world. You're still going to have to go into your server, or not your server, but your router, and port forward, port 32400. Uh, I'd love to show you how to do that, but everybody's router is different. Um, you're just going to have to find that out on your own. Sorry. We're going to click next. 
Once that gets done with that, it's going to ask you if you want to import a library or create a library. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? I've got movies I want to bring in and it's going to ask you to browse. Now, this is where back when we named it forward slash media right here, forward slash media. Let's see if we can get this thing to work without being a problem. Oh, look at that. It did. All right. Right there. Forward slash media. So we're going to click on that. There's all our movies. We just click add. Add library. There's our library movies. We'll click next. Uh, again, it's going to ask you about getting a Plex pass. We're just going to click done. And bam, here's Plex right here. Over here on the right side of the screen is your basic, uh, you know, sidebar menu, stuff like that. And you'll see they have a live TV option, movies and shows and music. And this is the stuff that you can get for free from them that they're just giving you for free, which is pretty doggone cool. Now movies, this is the library that we created when we install Plex. And again, if you know what these movies are, it's about time you see that doctor for you. Hey, fickle finger of fate looking forward for you. You can also click more and it's going to show you your right here is the Plex Plex uh, 2, that's the server we just created. And under here, that that is actually my existing server that I'm using. We're just going to ignore that. It ain't there. It's new for you. If you want to add even more libraries, you can click the plus button and go through the same process. You can add TV shows, music, photos, other videos, whatever. It's all up to you. It's all right there. So... We're good with where it's sitting right now. If you want to go back, here you are. We're back at our home screen up here in the upper right. Boy, that thing is a pain in the tuchus. Right there, your wrench. That will take you to your different settings. And, you know, you can see your account, media, uh, online media source, authorization, all of that. Now, down here on the remote access, if... You're getting this right now, uh, not available outside you, or your network. You can hit retry on it and everything. Right now, I have this server behind a VPN. So it might come up and show that, oh, yeah, you can access it. But eventually, it's going to go away. So if you're, you're one of those folks that use a VPN for everything, you're probably not going to be able to access this outside of your, outside of your home, your local network. But... Again, there are plenty of options. Yeah, see right there. Fully accessible outside your network. I'm sure five, ten minutes later, it's going to go away. One other thing I, yeah, see it went away already. One other thing I want to show you is right here, transcoder. You click on transcoder. If you had designated a, uh, a GPU for it, it would have, to have an option over here as, and, and you need to check it to where it says allow hardware transcoding. So I know this was a, a quick one, quick and dirty and everything, but the NHL draft is on tonight and it's actually started already. And I want to check it out and see what happens, see what my blues do. I, I don't expect them to do a lot. You know, if uh, they make a trade and acquire someone good, Armstrong did the right thing. If he just plays it cool and stays at home, hey, we uh, the Blues won just as many games against the Stanley Cup champs as the uh, defending Stanley Cup uh, Tampa Bay Lightning did. So we're still doing all right. So with that, go ahead, karate chop that like button, roundhouse kick that subscribe button, and check you later. So what you're going to want to do is, oh my goodness, what the f***ing matter is he doing?